In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who brought the abbot St. Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. David spoke to Saul, Let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine. But Saul answered David, You cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him, for you are only a youth while he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, The Lord who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Saul answered David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Then, staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wadi and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. With his sling also ready to hand, he approached the Philistine. With his shield-bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. When he had sized David up and seen that his he was youthful and ready and handsome in appearance. The Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come against me with a staff? Then the Philistine cursed David by his gods and said to him, Come here to me and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear and scimitar, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel that you have insulted. Today, the Lord shall deliver you into my hand. I will strike you down 
and cut off your head. This very day, I will leave your corpse and the corpses of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus, the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude, too, shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters, while David ran quickly toward the battle line in the direction of the Philistine. David put his hand into the bag and took out a stone, hurled it with a sling, and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow, and he fell prostrate on the ground. Thus, David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and did it without a sword. Then David ran and stood over him with the Philistine's own sword, which he drew from its sheath. He dispatched him and cut off his head. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hand for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my refuge and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you, with a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please stand. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I hope you were able to listen attentively to the story of our first reading, the so-called and the famous story about 
David and Goliath. Although the name Goliath was not directly named, but he was called the Philistinian or the Philistine. David was presented to Saul before facing Goliath. But before that, medyo may mga reservation or reservations si Saul kay David. Ano po ang mga dahilan? He was able to narrate it na bata pa siya, wala siyang sapat na lakas o marahil sandata para harapin itong higanting ito. At medyo alanganin si David para kala- kalabanin muli ang isang malaking taong ito. But I hope you were able to remember the parting words of Saul and David. Saul said to David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Alam niyo po, sa palagay ko, hindi lang yung hinandang bato at tungkod ang nagpanalo o nagpalaban kay David. But the assurance of Saul was another and yet the powerful battle gear that he brought. The Lord will be with him. And we all know that the story ended with the victory of David over this giant. But I do believe again, it was not only because of the staff and the stone, it was also because of that assurance that the Lord was with him. Our gospel today is another event in the life of Jesus when all his works were used to be seen and observed by many people. Sa totoo lang, sinabi, lang po, sinabi din po sa ating mabuting balita, he was angry and grieved because of the hardness of their hearts. In short, he was not in a good mood. Pwede na niyang layasan ang pagkakataon na iyon. Pwede niyang layasan yung may sakit at maghimotok sa mga tao. Human as he is, he can be as disappointed as he can be. But try to see someone who acknowledges that the Lord is with him can even do wonders and even do miracles, even in the face of someone observing him. As per our gospel, Jesus healed the man with the withered hand. When we know that the Lord is with us, we cannot but fight and win battles. We cannot but do good deeds even, we are, even when we are tested to do so. We are used to allocate and even plan our future through insurance or insurances. We plan for the future on how we are to fight potential battles, our potential and maybe actual giant Goliaths. But as we plan for those, let us be first assured of this fact. The Lord will always be with us. Goliath will be in front of us every day. Isang malaking problema, isang malaking tukso, isang malaking laban ang nasa harap po natin palagi. But bring with you the words of soul. The Lord will always be with you. Those who would try to capture your sense of goodness and even haunt you as you do good to others, ito yung mga hindi makakita ng kagandahan sa ginagawa natin. Ito yung mga taong mahilig mang-away. Ito yung mga taong mapang-api. 
we will face those with the assurance the Lord will be with us. My dear brothers and sisters, we shall face Goliaths and Pharisees side by side, not anymore with arms or stones, but with the assurance, but with this truth, the Lord will always be with us. Dahil po sumasa atin ang Panginoon, kaya magpatumba ng mga malalaking pagsubok, kaya maging mabuti kahit sa lahat ng pagkakataon. At dahil sumasa atin ang Panginoon, una pa lang, tapos na ang laban. Panalo na tayo, tuloy ang buhay. Please stand. Christ liberated us from the destructive powers of evil and sin so that we could be free to cooperate in spreading the good news. We ask God for this grace and blessing. For every petition, we shall say, God of love, stretch out your hand. God of love, stretch out your hand, that the church may seek to free persons from whatever stands in the way of communicating the gospel to men of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of love, love, stretch, stretch out, out your hand, hand, that the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving of the world who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, and freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of, God love, of love, stretch out your hand, hand, that Christians everywhere may not be people of legalisms and outward observances, but people with a heart who do what they have to do as God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of love, love, stretch out your hand, that we may show concern to those who are suffering, so that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God. Let us pray to the Lord. God of, God of love, love, stretch, stretch out, out your, your hand, hand, that the dead and those who mourn their loss may see hope and comfort in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of love, love stretch, stretch out, out your, your hand. hand. We pray in silence for all the petitions offered in this Mass, as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. We lift up to the Lord our prayers for each other and for our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. God of love, stretch out your hand. Loving God, we claim to belong to you and to your Son. Help us through your Spirit to love you by caring and making other people happy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you gave us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with, it, with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Anthony and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us call on God our Father. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it, it is, is in, in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished for our healing by your sacraments, O Lord, may we escape every snare of the enemy unharmed. Just as by your grace, St. Anthony won glorious victories over the powers of darkness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, tonight we shall uh, commence our first Wednesday Family Rosary, and uh, our host uh, community will be the Manila Cathedral as we head uh, this uh, second season of our then healing rosary for the world now we call the the wednesday family rosary for the world it will be at the same uh, time uh, that we used to be at uh, 9 p.m it will and uh, it will be hosted by the lat family and uh, it will be from the uh, taken from saint joseph from our saint joseph chapel here in the manila, manila cathedral please uh, Encourage your families and your communities to gather as a family and uh, pray the rosary and ask the Lord to bless each family and uh, the whole world with His love and uh, His peace. For those of you who are free, this afternoon our cathedral will be welcoming and uh, 
will be part of the celebration of the granting of the Papal Awards to nine lay collaborators of our church. And uh, this will be streamed live through our, our social media pages and uh, through TV Maria. The Mass will be at uh, 2.30 in the afternoon to be presided by our Archbishop, Jose Cardinal Advincula. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.